Welcome to the second season of the Soka TV series. Right now on my right is Pirate of Awesomeness. We're shooting this up at Automist Studios. Get ready to watch it, baby. Take all promotions. We gonna make it. The seas top gonna take it. Whether you're proud or hate it, I get us more motivation. We gonna make it. The seas top gonna take it. Whether you're proud or hate it, I get us more motivation. We gonna make it. The seas top gonna take it. Whether you're proud or hate it, I get us more motivation. We gonna make it. The seas top gonna take it. Whether you're proud or hate it, I get us more motivation. Hey guys, welcome to Soja TV with Takeover Promotions. Today we have with us the talented, um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't forget your name. It, you, you're just making me laugh. Why are you making me laugh? <laughs> Pyro the Arsonist is with us here today in the studio. Thank, Thank you. Me. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, this is your first appearance on a live, sh also live show. Yeah. <laughs> you a little nervous? I'm good. You're good? Cool. Okay. Great. I'm glad. Um, Pyro is actually from the Bronx. He was born in Manhattan. Um, he is... Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the Bronx. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I get BK and B BX mixed up all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn now. From BK. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Chelsea area. Yeah, Chelsea area. Chelsea. Um, you're, you're a musician. You, you, you are a rapper. You are an artist. You are award-winning. You've won some awards. Yeah, well, I won an award for most requested artist of the year back in 2010. Uh, I did 14 weeks in a row. On the radio. So, yeah, on, um, yeah, on um, memoirs with AD the General. So, yeah, I got that award, and then, you know, it's my only award I've gotten. But I took a hiatus after that. So. For what reason? Um, health issues. You know, um, I was uh, 500 pounds back then. You know, so. Um, my health stopped me from doing a lot of stuff. and. But you look a lot better now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I've lost about half the weight, you know, so. C congratulations. Thank you. Um, That's good to hear. Thank you. So, um, you know, I had to take a break, health issues and stuff, and basically focus on trying to live, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because if I, if I can't Can't live, perform if you're dead. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, you know, so. I got gotcha. you. you know, <laughs> basically, um, really buckle down and take care of my health issues and then work on everything else that I wanted to do. But you're still, you're still a co-host. You have a radio show that you are co-hosting. Yeah, I'm a co-host on Lyrically Live on DTF Radio every Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, with the Choice in New York City and Jess Hayes, DJ Show Crime and The Plug. Um, so yeah, I've been part of that show for about two years now. They're going, we're going on five years in October. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Y'all want to tune in to DTRradio.com or on TuneIn app, search DTRradio. I know, I do. Yeah. I do. I know, I know actually a couple other people that are on the DTF, too. That's, that's definitely a, a really good show. You guys should definitely watch. Yeah, y'all tune in. Um, you also are a published writer. Yeah. I got um, four poems in um, a collaborative book called Writer's Block. Shout out mm -hmm. to Amin Sterling, who... Um, put that together. Me and Amin actually go back to uh, fourth grade, elementary school. Oh, wow. We've yeah. had Amin in the studio before. Yeah, yeah, he's a good He was dude. here with uh, Jordy. Yeah, Jordy, yeah. I love her. Yeah. Jordy, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, me too. I, I love you and Jordy's music. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, I appreciate that. So I got four poems in that book. Um, it's on Amazon.com. It's on, you know, BarnesandNobles.com. So I got four, four poems in that book. And um, I'm just glad to be a part of it. Definitely. Mm. I would be too. Yeah. <laughs> um, you you recently uh, you were in the Bronx on another radio show. I was on Diva Chat Radio last uh, last Thursday, I believe it was. How did that yeah. go? It was good. It was a good vibe. Um, shout out to them for having me on. You know, Booms, um, La Diva, and um, DJ A Warps. So, but it was. Definitely a good experience, real nice, you know, environment, friendly environment. It was, it was, it was cool. What was it like for you growing up? Growing up, um, I, uh, I was born in Manhattan. I moved to Puerto Rico when I was four, but I was, I was asthmatic, so you know, I had to end up mm. moving back 
to my hand. I was raised What do brown. people do down there? <laughs> not, just, I'm dying whole, right now. It's a whole like, different what? environment, you know? I mean, I don't know. Maybe just, they, they're used to it. Yeah. So I came back over here. I was raised with my grandmother. Um, she was a Christian woman. So I really wasn't. Um, I really didn't have access to music like that, unless it was mm. like Christian music mm. and church music and stuff, so, yeah. But you, you started out writing poems. I started out writing poetry, yeah, like around 12, 13, around what made you What made you start that? Well, um, I was... There's usually a reason. Yeah, I was, I was, <laughs> I was, uh, I was bullied when I was younger, you know, because of my weight and stuff, and, um, being I didn't have really access to music, I would... My, my grandmother was a teacher, so I always had composition notebooks. You know? What kind of teacher? She was an a elementary school teacher. For, what subject? Uh, uh, she was just a paraprofessional. Huh? So she would like help out the main teacher and then um, on all the subjects. Okay. So I always had composition books in the house because she always made sure she was, you know, I had to do my homework and then <laughs> did her own. I always had enough paper. <laughs> so, um, you know, I started writing, poor, I started writing down kind of like a journal from being bullied and stuff. So... Um, I would uh, write down in my journal, and then it started becoming kind of like poetry because I started trying to rhyme the words, mm -hmm. and that's the way it just, it just happened. It just started all as a journal, just trying to get my feelings and my frustrations out on paper, and then it just continued to evolve. I definitely relate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I started out with poetry myself. Yeah. Um, uh, what did, Do you think that, that writing poetry triggered your love into hip hop and writing that way or um i think yeah i think so definitely because um i didn't i didn't get I, when i first listened to hip hop it was eric b and rakim big daddy king epmd and that's once i once i moved back with my mom that i started hanging out with my cousins i would go over to my cousin's house and they'd be playing the music and that's when i was like oh you know i did this on paper but they doing it on a beat you know so i was like that's what really made me like fall in love with it. Just it was to me it was the poetry just on a beat, you know. So, what was the what was the reaction of your family when you started doing the poetry versus when you started doing music? Um, believe it or not, very supportive. I mean, you know, I had the Christian people in my family would tell me, you know, just hopefully one day you'll be doing that for church, you know. <laughs> mm. But you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, overall, very yeah, maybe supportive. not. <laughs> very supportive overall. Sure, Grandma. You know, <laughs> very supportive overall, though. Yeah, uh, your your grandparents actually just passed away. Yeah, my grandmother passed away in January. My grandfather in February, and um, they were very important to me. You know, very crucial in my upbringing. You know, and the kind of person I am. And um, it's been tough, you know, but I'm just trying to get back on. Back on the grind, back focused, you know, and... Do you think it affected you at all in your, your business? Um, yeah. Especially, you know, my grandfather, me, me and my grandfather, we were very close. You know, he was like my father to me. So, um, when he passed, it, it, it did take... I always tell people he took a part of me with him, you know, so... That's um, always the thing when people die, they take a piece yeah. that they created, basically. Yeah, definitely. You can't be the same. So I got into a little, you know slump and stuff but i'm just trying to move on trying to think of it as what would he want for me right you know? now and they're just, watching all the time exactly. so, <laughs> now you can't get away from me. no way yeah so, like, i'm just basically trying to move on and do what i gotta do all right well i'm glad that you can and and that we're here you're here we're all here and um we are going to take a little break yeah. all right so we'll see you guys in the Middle hook, I'm any life I took. You think you off the fucking hook? Team, you talking to Jake? There's a split through your tongue. I knew you were the snake. TV. I'm your hostess, Sin, and we have Pyro the Arsonist in the studio. 
Uh, we were just talking a little bit about a little bit about you, um, where you came from, uh, your achievements. Yeah. We'll call them. Um, we, you know, we spoke a little bit about your grandparents. Um, your family is very supportive. That's great. Um, you also are married. Yes, I'm married. How long have you been married? Uh, going on four years in December. And you guys seen? Oh yeah, actually, my birthday. Yes. I know this. Yes. Four years in December. <laughs> December nineteenth. Yes. We've been together six <laughs> years. Going in, going in February will be six years. February fourth. You guys are very happy. Very happy. I always see the pictures. You guys are so happy. It's great. So she, I'm assuming she's very supportive. Oh, yeah, she is. And your song, your new song, uh, Good Chick, is, is about her. About, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. I mean, I thought it was about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's definitely about, it's definitely about, what's her name? Um, Lucy. Lucy. Lucy, my baby. Lady Shout Pyro. out, Lucy. I, a lot of people call her Lady Pyro, but, you know, that's my baby. <laughs> cool. Cool. Definitely. Um, do you have kids? I have a daughter. She'll be 17 in October. Mm -hmm. Selena. I know she's going to be watching. Too, so. She a good kid. She's a good kid. She really is. I mean, you know, every kid has their moments where they want to rebel, but she's a. How were you kid. at that age? <laughs> wow. Don't well, watch, know, Selena. I didn't. <laughs> did, you know, I did my thing. I would cut school sometimes. You know, try to. Um, you know, I was smoking cigarettes and stuff. You know, I, I, around her age, I had started smoking cigarettes. You do not smoke anymore, though. I do not smoke anymore, no. So, um... Just, just pyroness. Yeah, just, you know, just, <laughs> just the flame, no yeah, smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, she's a good kid. She really is a good kid. That's great. Yeah. Um, what, what, do you, what do you think uh, was the most um, help in, in your career so far? Like, what one thing would you say helped you the most? Um, honestly, being being a co-host on the radio show. Because I met a lot of people, uh, made a lot of connections, you know. And um, that that would be it. So, you know, again, shout out to Choice and Jess Hayes for bringing me on because that's their show, that's their baby, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate it just being part of the family. But that definitely has to be the thing that helped me out the most. Just being able to make connections and meet new people, new artists. A lot of talented artists that I met, you know? So that'd be the best, the, the best help I've gotten. Cool. Um, we are going to take a little segment out um, to answer our live feed. Um, yeah? Okay. We're not going to do that yet. So what are some of the goals you have? Like you, you're so accomplished already. You, you have the, the radio show, you have a, won awards. What, what's one thing that my, is a major goal for you? A major goal for me? Um, I just want to be able to do more performances. I want to perform in a bigger stage, you know, mm -hmm. which I do have one coming up in August 14th at SOBs. Um, it will probably be the biggest stage I've, I've performed in so far. But, you know, uh, that would be the goal, just to perform in, in, in front of a, a larger audience. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, like I was telling you guys off, you know, you don't think camera, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a timid person. <laughs> but, you know, I, I kind of, <clears throat> I'm getting, I'm realizing that I, I kind of change a little bit when I'm performing. Mm. My mind state just goes into a different, just, you know, focus and just do what I got to do and, but You're not Illuminati, are you? No. <laughs> no, because you know, you know that's what they say yeah. that that this demon possesses them, yeah, and yeah, yeah. when they hit the stage, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, just try to just try to focus and just. <laughs> not that you would tell us anyway. Yeah, I would. <laughs> do you believe in all that? Um, do I believe Illuminati exists in the music industry? Yes. Definitely, I believe so. I mean, you know, it exists in a lot of different things, not just the music industry, but... Yeah, even Michael Jackson, he so, got, yeah, you know, just in general, for trying to blow it up. <laughs> just in general in Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whether it's... Uh, entertainment you know, period. Entertainment period. Yeah, whether it's movies, whether it's music, doesn't matter. I think it's definitely real. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what, 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 the, what steps are you trying to use to get where you want to be? Right now I'm just trying to promote myself more um trying to perform more you know whatever comes my way i'm trying to take advantage of any opportunities i'm getting mm -hmm. 
you know, trying to um, get like performances outside of just New York. You actually um, are going to one, West yeah, Virginia. I do have one um, July 30th. Shout out to Tariq Higgins who booked me for a show in West Virginia for the comedy Most Wanted. Um, so it'll be August 14th on a, on, um, I mean, I'm sorry, that's July 30, 30th on a Saturday in West Virginia. And people are actually requesting you in other places. Are you thinking about expanding and going out? I, I definitely, I'm open to, to going wherever I need to go. If I can make it out there, I'll definitely make it. So I'm, I'm willing, I'm willing to work. I'm ready to work. You know? mm -hmm. So I, I'm focused. I, I'm on my grind. I'm, I'm ready to do whatever I got to do, you know, to chase what I, my dream, you know? What's something you wouldn't do? Something I wouldn't do <laughs> is, uh, be, like, go against my morals or my upbringing or something like that. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna, I need to stay true to myself. I need to be able to sleep at night, mm -hmm. you know? And if I can't, then that's just not for me. I'm not going to do anything that's not me that's out of my character all right well um we're gonna take another break right But she gotta be a bitch Someone that I could have to prove And she don't be up on that dumb shit Ain't got no time for excuses oh, She's so exclusive I don't think it's in her She's shit just like a bottle And she's dealing with the bitches She's a bitch I need a bitch Her thighs, yeah. the kind of girl that's so banging, make a nigga fantasize. Uh, Cause her body's so crazy that it commands attention. So I made the decision to chase and get aggression. And I won't stop until her body alcohol make it so hot that shorty's gonna lose control. Yep. I'll lift the right spot and have you moaning non stop and treat you like a glass of wine and drink it to the last drop. Mm. You're tasting yummy, nice and sweet, like some bunny. Now let me massage your back as you're laying down on your tummy. I've been 
been in love before, but these feelings are much deeper. Yeah. Don't worry, scared, no doubt. I don't ever gotta check my bank account. All I need is a woman that's down for the car. She just wanna live a life and not worry about the flaws, but she gotta be a bitch. Someone that I can act a Check my bank account All I need is a woman that's down for the call She just wanna live a life and not worry about the flaws But she gotta be a good chick Someone that I can't act a fool with And she don't be up on that dumb shit Ain't got no time for excuses oh, She's so exclusive I don't think you've seen her She's just like a bottle And she's dealing with them bitches She's a good chick I need a good chick If any singers, rappers, poets, dancers, painters, or anyone who would like to be interviewed by Takeover Promotion and be find it interesting, please submit your bio into one of these emails or social networks. Thank you very much. Takeover Promotions. Welcome back to Sota TV. I'm here in the studio with Cairo, the arsonist. And um, we are just talk we were just talking a little bit about your music. You have a um, album that was released in May? Um, May? Yeah, May 31st. I, I released it. It's called The Wait Is Over. Um, it's available on iTunes and Google Play, Amazon. Or you could just, you want to check it out before you buy it, go to Spotify. Look me up on Spotify or okay. iHeartRadio or something, and it's there also. Cool. Yeah. Um, tell, well, tell the people a little bit what, like, what it's about. Um, you know, um, I was raised on, you know, in the 90s, so I was always into uh, Big Pun, Biggie, Nas, and, Pencil? you know. <laughs> so basically, you know, for this one, I stay true to myself, stay true to my upbringing. Um, there's some lyrical tracks, and then, like, the second half would be, like, some mixture of hip-hop, R&B type tracks, you know, mm -hmm. for the ladies and stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, but yeah, for the next project, I'm definitely going to go a little different outside my comfort zone as far as um, beat selections and stuff like that. But for this one, I stay true to myself and I'm out bringing. You're going you're gonna to touch a little bit on a uh, little trap music? Yeah. <laughs> so it's hot now. I, I do. I do. I already got the beat and everything. So there will be a, a trap. Trap coming you know from pyro you know what i'm saying i'll definitely be doing it so y'all gotta be ready for that it's not gonna be for a while though but you know <laughs> i'm i'm ready we we did just actually hear your uh your new newest video yeah we we watched it <laughs> it was uh watch me watch me <laughs> the latest video yeah um featuring my boy j fire from washington heights salute to him and um filmed by uh a uh, cool cat for in the cut films mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was filmed over there in the tunnel in um, Washington Heights. Okay. Yeah, 191st Street Tunnel. Yeah. So, w what's Watch Me about? Watch Me is just more of a, um, just lyrical, just me basically letting people know, you know, just to watch how I, watch how I, you know, do this music thing. How do you do this music thing? <laughs> I just try to spit that fire, you know what I'm saying? That's what I try okay. to do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so from beginning to end, watch him. <laughs> but you have a new single. New you have single. a new single uh, that you actually performed in the studio. Yeah, it's called Good we'll, Chick. We'll watch it a little later. Yeah. Awesome, I love it. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> that's what's up. That's, that's, that's the latest one, Good Chick. We're actually uh, working on a uh, video for that. Um, we'll probably start shooting that at the end of July, maybe 
beginning of August. We don't have a set date yet, but we have... You know who you're working with? Yeah. Got it it's all set be, up? Yeah. We, we already, it's going to be Cool Cat filming it as well. So, um, it'll be my wife in it, obviously, you know. It is about her. I hope so. Yeah. That's good, because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of artists, um, you know, they'll sing about their girlfriends or wives or whatever, and a lot of them won't actually let their wives in it. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's kind of disrespectful. I mean, she's, <laughs> she supports everything I do, so... Right. I mean, but there's there's other artists that that won't do that. That's I mean. Yeah. yeah. You're I mean, a humble you know, dude. Yeah. To each, to each their own, but you know. Yeah. I got my own video vixen at home, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You never have to hire a model. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Right. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I do you have so you have a new album that you're working on. I'm assuming. I, I have. Well, I, I'm. It's in like the way, way early stages that um, I'm just starting to write. You know, I like to start right away. I like to keep busy. So although I dropped it this first album, May 31st, I'm already working on the next project. I'm just writing, listening to beats, trying to see, you know, you know what beats I'm going to buy and stuff. So everything's original. So um, so just taking my time with it, but I like, I like keeping busy. That way, once it's ready, just... Are you, do you find yourself always writing? I, I go through my spurts where it's like, um, where I have my, write, my, my writer's block. Mm. But um, I always have my phone with me, so if ever I'm on the train, like just today, coming here in the train, I was just, this is a beat, trying to write, you know, a little bit, you know? So I, I just get my, my moments when, when I decide to write and just sometimes I have writer's block and it just depends. I, it just comes at any moment. You've, you've performed a, lot, a few places in New York City. Um, uh, Blackthorn, 51, I know, uh, Club Pyramid. Club Pyramid. Is there, is there a spot that you prefer to usually do shows? Um, I'm open to perform anywhere. I mean, my favorite, my favorite spot so far has been Blackthorn, 51. I like the, the environment. I like the lighting, the way it was. It was very cool. Um, the setup, but yeah, yeah setup it is. It is cool. a very cool. Yeah. Shout out to Blackthorn Fifty One. Yeah, definitely Blackthorn Fifty One. That's a really good one. I'm looking forward to. I mean, it's. I've, I've seen my boy Ty Flows perform, perform there. Which, by the way, uh, shout out to him and Madam Bullet and Livewire, Livewire Empire and Bite the Bullet Entertainment. They're the ones who gave me the opportunity for it. So, but I've seen him perform there. I've seen his videos from when he performed there, and it looks like a great stage to perform at, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Hopefully I get to attend. Yeah, <laughs> um, What else do we got? We got, so we got, we got, we were working on, have you heard, have, um, is there anyone that you're trying to get a hold of to work with? As far, uh, in, indie artists, there's a lot of indie artists I would love to work with, you know? Um... This next project, I'm trying to not to do, you know, too many features, but I'm always, you know, willing to work. I would love to work with Jordy Lee. Mm -hmm. He's great. I, I love his voice. He's great. You know what I'm saying? I would love to work with uh, Leah Gavinci, um, the silent celeb. Um, There's a lot of artists I, w I would love to work with. Um, I would love to work with Chris Rivers, a big pun song, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, if I would ever do that, you know, I grew up listening to his dad. So just being able to do a record with his son would be, would be great. That would be, you know, something that I, I would really be excited for. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. So to TV. Catch a body, but 
but don't need no clips I just murder these cats with the words I spit Cause ain't nobody better than this music shit I'm the hottest free agent, the number one pick MVP of the year, I'm running this whole shit Niggas better keep up or they won't last long They'll be gone quicker than I take off your girl's thong Yeah, it's old, and can a damn thing stop me? I gotta admit, I am a tad bit cocky But can you doubt me? Check the feedback Niggas be begging so much, I make their knees crack Can't believe that, then let me show you that you be just another MC I put a hole through Competition, I'll obliterate. I can see the hate written on your stupid face. All these trash niggas, they wishing they could take my place. Keep dreaming, cause that ain't happening. Give it up, fall back, and get some practicing. Watch me, how I do this shit. I can catch a body, but don't need no clips. I just murder these cats with the words I spit. Cause ain't nobody better than this music shit. Watch me, how I do this shit. I can catch a body, but don't need no clips. I just murder these cats with the words I spit. Cause ain't nobody better than this music yeah. shit. Lyrically, I'm the man, no doubt. Just chill, listen up, see what the fuss about. Fire, boy. Do it me till I'm in the ground. If it's beef, you know I got the pound. But let's keep it on wax, track for track, bar for bar. Get a lit with a little yak. I'm a hip hop pad, you can keep track. Nursery rhyme, shit boring, shit whack. But on another note, like the L, let me take the toe. Getting dope, being broke, no joke. Niggas washed up, bars is garbage. The haters are aiming, but they're missing the target. Been around the block a few times, did a few crimes. Never dropped down, grew up in some hard times. My story is one for the ages. Hit bumps on the road, but I finally made it. Watch me, how I do this shit. I can catch a body, but don't need no clips. I just murder these cats with the words I spit. Cause ain't nobody better than this music shit. Watch me, how I do this shit. I can catch a body, but don't need no clips. I just murder these cats with the words I spit. Cause ain't nobody better than this music shit. This is what I do best, hands down. Hands Got down. no time to be fucking with ass clowns. Nope. Too busy on my ground now, so I'm heading to the top and snatching the damn crown. Wow, my bars are ridiculous. Uh -huh. Flow so sick, y'all niggas catch syphilis. Uh -huh. Niggas wanna battle, but I'm just too quick with it. Sore losers, but you know how bitches get. Yeah, they just can't handle it. Hate in the blood makes niggas act scandalous. I'm the real deal, all the rest I'll counterfeit. So when I take niggas out, it's deliberate. I'm a beast on the mic. I transform when it's time to recite. All these whack MCs are all in my sight, so I gotta eat them up to quench my appetite. Watch me. Welcome back to Soul TV. It's my favorite part of the show. It's called Fast Flash. It's a quick little segment where I ask you 10 quick questions and you give me the quickest answers that come to your mind. And I can ask you anything in the entire world that my little heart desires. You cool? Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm you ready? ready? <laughs> All right, so Pyro, the arsonist. <laughs> Have you ever worn a thong? No. Honestly? Your wife never made you No, never. Would you tell us if you... I are you telling? No, I would definitely tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you had to eat one thing for the rest of, the, of your life, what would it be? Probably meatloaf and potato salad. Mm. Sounds good. Meat. Sounds meatloaf good. Meatloaf and potato salad. <laughs> what are your thoughts on twerking? On twerking? <laughs> as far as like... What I believe, like, as far as what, what do you though, think like, of it? Like, what's your opinion? <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a trick question. I mean, a lot of people do it. I mean, but some people look ridiculous doing it. Have you ever tried to twerk? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so you enjoy it. Um, it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> it, like I said, some people look. Some people look fine doing it, but then some people just look really stupid. Retarded. Yeah, so. <laughs> like everyone and their mom not, is making a twerking for, video nowadays. <laughs> it's not meant for everybody to twerk, that's for sure. I'll tell you that much. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely agree with that. <laughs> um, which character of Alice in Wonderland do you most relate to? I wouldn't know. I've never seen it. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> I've never seen it. Yeah. Really? I really, oh my god. I've never seen it. I really haven't. I know it's crazy. None of them. Not the cartoon version, not the movie oh with Johnny god. Depp. I haven't seen them. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland oh, okay. right there. So there you go, you've seen it. <laughs> um, huh. Okay. So, uh, I'll give you a different one then. Who's your favorite artist excluding yourself? Any type of artist, or any type of artist, whether it's a painter, poet, 
singer. My favorite is the Notorious B.I.G. Okay. My favorite. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, who's the best supervillain in your opinion? As far as what, comic books? Any villain. Any villain. Not even a super villain. Just any villain. Um, we can go with Disney if you want. <laughs> even though you don't watch, you know. My favorite villain to me would be uh, Thanos from Marvel Comics. Okay. He had uh, his powers with the Infinity Gauntlet was sick. So he would be my favorite villain. If you had the power of invisibility, what would you do with it? The power of invisibility? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Honestly, well. What's the first I, thing you would do? <laughs> the first thing I would do is out of character, I'll probably do like some, like some Robin Hood thing. Like I'll probably go to the bank, take some money and give back to the people. Okay. That's probably what I would do. You wouldn't like go to the government and do that? Like banks don't really have a lot of money. <laughs> well, hey, if I'm invisible, I could go to every single <clears throat> bank and just exactly. take little by little, right? Or you could just grab the sheets right out of the press. Very yeah. true. <laughs> um, I would go for the big guys. <laughs> the gold, <laughs> Fort Knox. <laughs> we in there. <laughs> um, uh, what's the first concert you ever attended? A concert? I have never attended a concert yet. How did I know you were going to say that when you looked over there? Yeah. It was the Alice in Wonderland thing again. <laughs> yeah, it was. Are you in one? Did you grow up in Wonderland? Like, is that what's going on? No, like I told you, I was growing yeah. up. I, I, I was raised with my with my grandmother, who was a Christian woman. And then after that, I was raised with my mom, and you I didn't have so nobody really to take me to a concert or anything like that. I there are some concerts I would like to go, you know. So, what what's concert you want to go to for your um, first concert? <laughs> I would like to do like maybe like a medley concert, like maybe a classic hip hop type concert. You know what I'm saying like uh, maybe if they the bad boys like just had a something like that. I was yeah, I wanted like to go to that so bad. I'm so disappointed like I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bruno Mars. My wife wants to do Bruno Mars, so I'll probably take her to that too. So. Okay. But I hear his tickets are like. Ooh, so is the weekend. Have you? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> his tickets started at three fifty. I was like, oh, I need v super VIP. It's like five grand. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure, just give give the artist a car. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Um, what's your craziest memory? My craziest memory? Mm. Uh, my craziest memory? Just the first thing that pops in your mind. Even if you don't want to say it, I want to hear it. The audience wants to know. I really don't, don't, I can't think of one off the top of my head right now. <clears throat> my craziest moment. My craziest memory, you said, right? Mm-hmm. My craziest memory would probably be the day, oh man, this is, I'm not gonna say who, but somebody, when I was 16, I was, um, you know, I wanted to, to have a job, I wanted to have my own money, and somebody offered me, who was in the drug game, offered me half of their, uh, stash, stash, <laughs> and half of their, uh, women if you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know so that had to be one of my craziest memories and i immediately turned turned him down you know because you're not that type yeah. you're a good christian <laughs> well you know i mean I, mean, you know, I won't go all there but you know uh i just wouldn't wouldn't do that you know i i appreciate my freedom too much and you respect women too much yes. <laughs> very, very right. much so I have four sisters and my daughter and stuff, so yeah, definitely. I was raised around women, so. That good to hear, good to hear. <laughs> What's the weirdest place you've ever had sex? The weirdest place I've ever had sex? Yep. Oh. Is your wife going to be mad? No, no, no. <laughs> Is it with her or not? <laughs> I would have to say subway car. <clears throat> like in yeah, or in between? In the subway car. In it. Nice. In the morning. How'd you work that out? Like, with, with you laying down? Like, no, just <laughs> straddle. She, okay. <laughs> I, I need details. I'm sorry, I'm thin. <laughs> All right, last and final question. I won't bother you anymore with fast slash. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. What show are you on? My show, am I on? What show are you on right I'm on now? The Sota TV series right now. 
Thank you so much, Viro, for answering that. Thanks for Thank having you me. for coming. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for answering my fast flash questions. I know yeah. they're a pain in the ass. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we're about to take a. Uh, we're about. To, <laughs> we are wrapping it up right now. I want to take. Yeah, I'd like to give a big shout out to the man who helped us out with the spot and location, Old Miss Studios. I'd like to bring out the CEO and the owner right now, co-owner of um, Old Miss Studios, Dutch Brown, baby. Thanks for coming out. Love, life, peace, and joy. We gonna make it. But she's top gonna take it. Whether you applaud it or hate it, I guess that's my motivation. We gonna make it. But she's top gonna take it. Whether you applaud it or hate it, I guess that's my motivation. We gonna make it. But she's top gonna take it. Whether you're